Dear students, our today's topic is conditional sentences. If class, let's start discussing about this. Conditional sentences express conditions that are required to be followed in order to achieve and the desired end results. According to the Oxford Learners Dictionary, a conditional sentence is defined as a sentence that begins with if or unless and expresses a condition and according to the Collins Dictionary, if a situation or agreement is conditional on something, it will only happen or continue if this thing happens. So conditional sentences have two parts if clause, if clause and main clause. The tense of main clause depends on the tense of if clause. Some rules for conditional sentences. So first of all, let, uh, let's discuss about zero conditional. In zero conditional, if clause or condition uh, is in the pattern of simple present verb 1 or verb 5. If uh, plural subject, verb 1. If the subject is singular, verb 5. Let's see the example. If you stand in the rain, so in main clause, simple present, same verb 1 or verb 5. So if you stand in the rain you get wet so if you if you hit the ice it melts this is the example of zero conditional here how we use is the uses of zero conditional is facts which are generally true or scientific facts the condition always has the same reason use for present real and factual situation next is first conditional or conditional type one so in conditional type one uh, if clause is simple present same bar one and bar five and result or main clause will or won't plus bar one if the sentence is affirmative will plus bar one and if it is negative and on plus bar one let's see the example if it rains we will cancel the trip if you study you will pass the exam so the uses of first conditional is a possible situation in the future predicting a likely result in the future if the condition happens use for future or real or factual situation let's discuss about conditional type 2 the pattern of conditional type 2 is uh, if clause simple past and main clause would could might plus bob 1 would could might plus bob 1 see here see the example if I own a lottery I would travel a lot Say would plus bar one. Another example: If they sold their house, if they sold their house, they would get money. So uses of conditional second or conditional type two, hypothetical or unlikely situation, imaginative situation, imaginative situation, all real, unreal, or impossible situation now or in the future use for present or future unreal imaginary situations so let's go to another type this is conditional type 3 third conditional in if clause past perfect means had plus v3 and main clause or result would could might have plus v3 example if you had studied you would have passed the exams another example if I had not been sick I would have gone to your 
party so the uses of um, third conditional is the person e in is imagining a different past imaginary situations that did not happen used for past unreal imaginary situations so if whether if not unless so let's see here how if whether if not or unless is used if and whether are often interchangeable means similar but have distinct uses distinct means different use for clarity it is best to use whether in reference to choice or alternatives we are going whether it rains or not and if when establishing a condition whenever we are making a condition we will go if it does not rain so if not and unless unless means the same as if not like if unless is followed by a present tense a past tense or a past perfect tense never by a condition so unless is used instead of if not in conditional sentence of all types so if unless we can use in all types of conditional zero types type 1 type 2 and type 3 the order of the clauses doesn't matter with sentences using unless so in if clause among was where every subject singular or plural takes where so let's see some examples if we hit water it changes into vapor unless you take your medicine you won't get better she may pass the exam if she studied hard she studies hard if you want to pass the exam work hard whether he passed SE or not he would join campus if I were a bird I would fly in the sky if she had studied hard she would have passed the exam had he studied hard he would not have failed the exam Ramesh would have succeeded in the mission provided that he had got all the equipment okay this was for today about conditional sentences in another video we will be discussing another important topic of english grammar especially focusing uh, for uh, our secondary level students of nepal thank you so much watch this video and please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you so much